You could now get ChatGPT4 completely for free inside of Bing. Microsoft partnered with the company that makes ChatGPT4 and they basically created Bing AI, this new version of Bing that is AI powered using the latest version of ChatGPT and it's totally free. You don't have to pay for anything. All you have to do is go to bing.com slash new. That's the URL right now that's available for that. And then just click chat now. The only thing is you have to use Microsoft Edge. That's the browser that you have to download. So it's going to ask you to download it. And it's not just for Windows. You could get it on Mac and they have an iOS and Android version of it too. And then you just press chat now and it will launch basically this new version of Bing where you could ask it any type of question that you want. So let me walk you through exactly how this works. So the first thing you typically want to do is you want to choose a conversational style. Right now, more balanced is the default, but you have more creative and more precise. And then right over here, you could ask it any question that you want. So I'm going to come up here and type any question. So create me a budget. And then unlike ChatGPT, it basically turns it into a search based question, but it still answers you in the chat format. So you still get a nice chat format. It's going to kind of give you an outline. If you've used ChatGPT, this is going to look familiar to you. And then you could ask a follow up question. But the cool thing is it gives you ideas on what to ask to follow up this conversation. And it remembers up to 20 different prompts and conversations you've had in this format. So it could refer back to an earlier version or an earlier prompt in this. Anytime you decide you're done with this conversation, instead of continuing, you should click new topic right here. And this icon basically refreshes this page and creates a new prompt right here that you could start with. So if I press this, I'm going to start brand new without anything from before. If I scroll down, by the way, it brings me to just a regular Microsoft Bing here where I could ask in anything, the typical search engine that you may have used. This is again similar to Google. And then anytime I could click this icon over here too and open this version of it too, right on the side, which is a chat option over here, just like I showed you. But it also has a compose option. The compose option is really cool because it can actually draft entire blog posts, emails, paragraphs. You could see I've already done one here. And you could decide how long you want it. So this one was a medium blog post that he wrote for me that I could just copy from here and post to my website. So really, really useful option over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this anytime you could scroll back up here. If you see over here, I have search and now I have the AI chat and I could go between the two anytime I want. So the chat bot is up here. And if you're not sure exactly what to ask it, you could start with any type of a prompt and then it's going to give you those different options. So if I wanted to ask it something like, can you help me start a business? It's going to do a quick search. It's going to give me a step by step guide on what to do. And typically with other chatbots like ChatGPT, a lot of times I don't know how to follow up. So one of the things I like about Bing is the ability to get options for a follow up question. So maybe I could just click a follow up rather than think of what I'm going to say next to learn more about this topic. And it also gives you references because it has live access to the internet, something ChatGPT just not, does not have. So I could click any of these links here to learn more about any of those specific websites and more information on those websites too. So it's kind of blending the AI chatbot that maybe you're familiar with with ChatGPT with the power of live web search. So that is something really unique that Bing right now has that most AI chatbots do not have. So I recommend you check it out for yourself. And if you want to test it out for your iPhone or Android, I recently made a video about that as well that I'll link here so you can watch that next. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.